The Cleveland Browns select Brandon Whedon, quarterback, Oklahoma State. Well, once Kendall Wright was gone, Kendall Wright might have been a Cleveland Brown had Tennessee not picked him at 20. But once he was gone, that was the debate. Do we wonder and pick him on early in the second round at 37? Or is someone going to come up and get They couldn't wait. Twice we've seen the Browns not wait. And they got a running back, and they got maybe their starting quarterback next year, coach. This guy's a winner. He beat Andrew Luck in a Fiesta Bowl. He beat Robert Griffin 59 to 17. He beat Nick Foles. He beat Landry Jones. He beat everybody that the NCAA had to offer. The kid can throw the football. The Cleveland Browns have made this loud and clear, Mel. They're going to have a competition at quarterback, and they're going to use Trent Richardson as a feature in their offense. I like this pick a lot. This was a lethal offense that he directed, John. You think about third and long, 73.3%. Third down, 67.6%. Red zone, 69%. Against ranked teams, 70 0.7% across the board, he got the job done. The issue's going to be under center. But I'll tell you what, he has the arm to deal with those, the adverse weather conditions in Cleveland, in Pittsburgh, in Baltimore, in Cincinnati, the quarterback has to deal with. And there's his reaction a couple moments ago. Like, hey, it's Cleveland. First round. We're going to play in Lake Erie. We're going to play in a division where there's nowhere to go but up. And now, as we do every year in the first round in the NFL draft, the salute, literally, to our United States military force. quite a moment here at Radio City Music Hall at the draft. We'll be back in a moment. One of my prisoners has escaped. Find me someone who doesn't fear the dark forest and hunt her down. If I refuse... Perseverance, passion, performance. These virtues are woven into the winning spirit of every great team and are driving forces behind every Kumo tire. That's why we support the U.S. women's national soccer team on their journey to London this summer. Kumo tire, the official tire of the United States Soccer Federation and the winning spirit. Let's go. Visit KumoTireUSA.com for savings on our team of top performers. I think you should put this on the deck. We're double day in Cartwright, and we're brainstorming on the next round of skateboards. Now you're gonna see the magic, look at this. You know, to click all day is, is not that rewarding. Like, I have to use my hand. I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna drop my graphics. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> now I can I send it to False Gold for approval. I think it looks pretty metal. It's refreshing to be able to create something unique. That's <laughs> Max. Looks like Toby. <laughs> the revolutionary Galaxy Note from Samsung. I bathed it in miracles. Oh, cut! Sorry to interrupt. When's the show? Well, if we don't find an audience, all we'll ever do is rehearse. Maybe you should try Every Door Direct Mail. Just select the zip codes where you want your message to be seen, print it yourself, or we'll help you find a local partner, and you find the customers that matter most. Brilliant. Clifton, show's overjoyed. No, too much. Janessa? Ah, uh, a round of applause. <laughs> 
Go online to reach every home, every address, every time with Every Door Direct Mail. Truckers know towing 9,000 pounds up a steep grade ain't good for your tranny. And when the heat's on, the failure ain't an option. This truck's got a six-speed aluminum tranny and a big old dedicated fluid cooler. So when it's cooking on the outside, this truck won't break a sweat. Available on the full-size Toyota Tundra. Welcome back to the 2012 NFL Draft, presented by Bud Light. Welcome back, everybody, to New York, where the Detroit Lions, one of the real nice stories last year, hadn't been in the playoffs since 1999, began 5-0, finished 10-6, and got in there, got a little roughhouse on defense, a little more than they should have, but this is a franchise clearly on the rise. Matthew Stafford, a 5,000-yard quarterback, the Megatron Calvin Johnson, who's up there to help with the pick with Commissioner Roger Goodell, and so... Here's a guy that caught balls for 1,600 yards, representing the Lions with the commissioner, Roger Goodell. We have a special guest to announce the Detroit Lions selection. Please welcome Lions wide receiver and Madden NFL 13 cover athlete, Calvin Johnson. Very honored to be voted by you, the fans, 20 million deep to the cover of Madden 13. And with that, the 23rd pick of the 2012 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Riley Reef. Well, part of the nice story of the Lions was that a couple of their linemen were left over from the team that went 0-16 just a few years ago, like a Jeff Backus. And now here, they're gonna make a move with Riley Reef, Mel and John, they'll start to change things over. Well, you look at Riley Reef, 6'5 and a half, 313 pounds. Doesn't have to be tremendously long arms if you would prefer in the left tackle, but well-coached Kirk Ferentz is an offensive line guru. It's a great job technically getting these guys ready and getting them ready for the NFL. You think about Olaga a few years ago, Marshall Yonda with the Baltimore Ravens. I like the fact he's played left tackle, right tackle, and guard, and the fact he started 34 consecutive games. Durable, well-coached, good football player, John Smart. For the Detroit Lions, Matthew Stafford had some injuries early in his career. you got to keep him upright. That's why he took way too many hits last year for his own good. Well, they throw the ball more than any team in football, Detroit. They don't even have a running back that gained 400 yards. It's the oldest offensive line in football, but I think this kid can be a very good right tackle and challenge Cheryless, who has struggled. Well, that's the Lions, and now here come the Pittsburgh Steelers at 12 and four. With the 24th pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select David DeCastro, guard, Stanford. Well, you know what you're getting with him, Mel and John. I mean, this is an old-fashioned guard. You think about the Pittsburgh Steelers, their offensive line is a big question mark. Yep. You've got Marcus Gilbert, you got Pouncey, and then you got Willie Colon with his injury situation. You think about the Castro, 6'5", 315, right guard, can maybe move inside to center. You don't need him there, though. You got Pouncey, so he's going to be a pure guard coming into the NFL. David Shaw compared to Castro to eight-time pro bowler Steve Wisniewski. Think about a kid, plays a smart game, aggressive football player, loves hand-to-hand -hand combat in the trenches. 34 reps at the combine. Think about during the process, you kept hearing, well, he hasn't wowed over the offensive line coaches. You thought he'd be a mid first. Here he is down there at 24 for the Steelers for that reason. But a guy comes in ready to play in the NFL, coming out of that pro style offense with the Stanford Cardinals. So the Pittsburgh Steelers, I mean, they are really, I mean, overall, look at them, they're really changing. A lot of their defensive players whose names you know are gone. Age, Aaron Smith, James Ferrier, Heinz Ward, of course, the great Heinz Ward is retired. So you know, Ben Roethlisberger limped around a lot last year. Yep. That offensive line was woeful I know. in some games. But a lot of folks thought, I understand the pick because the Castro didn't expect to be there. A lot of folks thought that with those linebackers, 
guy like 